Whoa, don't leave, don't leave. Where are you going? Come back in. All right. Uh, this is our closing session. There'll be boffs after this, by the way. People who are staying around, we move the boffs to, to the end. Um, so, thanks, everybody. You want? Yeah. Actually, l l let me start by saying, by thanking uh, a few people that made this possible. Uh, how the hell do you make this? What? Oh. Okay, so first to our sponsors, because without these guys, you didn't even get the coffee you got here. Sorry we couldn't feed you, but at least we gave you coffee in the morning, <laughs> right? So Cumulus, excellent sponsor for us. We're very happy with them. Verizon. <laughs> Verizon is getting into our, uh, is very supportive of the open source community. This is a new beginning for them. Let's encourage them. They were a really good sponsor for us. Uh, Qualcomm, Kathy, thank you. Uh, Qualcomm, right here. Uh, Google, as, as always. Uh, Sengen, I don't know if there's anybody from Sengen in here, but thanks again for your sponsorship. Uh, Intel, who is not here, but I hope the Intel guys can take credit for this. John, maybe you can take some credit for this. And our little company in Ottawa called Mojitato. Yeah. Uh, more important, I'd like to, without these volunteers, we would have been screwed. My good friend Steve. Uh, I don't know where Brenda is, but Brenda was. Well, can we have Brenda come in, please? For a second. Maybe we, we, so we can embarrass her. So. She doesn't really like that. She doesn't like that? Yeah. All right. L little lady sitting in the front. <laughs> there. <laughs> so, that little lady was the rock of this conference, just so you know. Uh, Richard, thank you. Uh, Miranda was sitting outside, I guess. Harry is wearing a <laughs> Alex still manning the camera. Okay. Uh, Harut, we just discovered Harut. I think from Harut, uh, I'd like to say that Harut is probably going forward. Is going to be of the net dev video guy. There's Miranda. Thank you. And then uh, I, I don't want to bore you with volunteers, but there's a lot of volunteers. Paywen, uh, Gary, who's not here, Wenda, Shuan, Roland, John is here. It's John. Uh, Robert Day, and we got a little, if you saw the, the blue t shirts, they're at the bottom there. We just thought it was worth mentioning them. The tech committee, Eric. Where's Eric? There's Eric. Srijit, I know, is left. Uh, Pablo. Johannes. Thanks. Steven. Has uh, Steven left already? Or he left. And Neil. Thanks. These are the guys who made the content, the sizzling content you have is because of these guys here. All right. Uh, Thanks to our speakers. It was cold outside, but you kept it warm inside. And thanks to you, the attendees. You came here during the coldest week of the year, during possibly a long weekend if you're from the US or Canada, during a weekend, and on Valentine's Day. Thank you. Give an applause for yourself. <laughs> Uh, speaking of attendance, we had 150 people from 17 countries spanning three continents. Those countries are listed there. We didn't want to list numbers for privacy reasons. But you can see the numbers. You can see the countries. They're listed in order. Possibly, I won't say this, but possibly of a number of attendees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, it would not be complete if I didn't show the t-shirt sizes. So I'm going to show the t-shirt sizes. There you go. <laughs> so I don't know if the, the audience is getting slimmer or what, but when you have the median at large, that's a little disappointing. Drink some more pop for next, for next net dev. Yes. USA, USA. <laughs> okay, you know that number. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry, I can't see that. So, um, so we started this conference and we want to be slightly different. When we initially started, we said, okay, first of all, there's no marketing allowed in here. You can't give us your money and use a session to market your, your product. That sort of, uh, f that filtered a few vendors that wanted to sponsor. Uh, we wanted to make it very easy to access. So, you know, if we, could, if we could have succeeded, this would have been either free or like 25 bucks a day or 50. I think we started shooting for $50. Then we looked at the budget and, okay, maybe $75. And then eventually set it for 100. We're probably going to lose some money, but it's not as bad. Right, so we did allow for one day admission, so you can show up for one day and then you don't like the next day's session, you show up for the other day, the third day. This is just so that we make it accessible. Uh, it's Canadian dollars, that's $100 is the best we could come up with and Canadian dollars is really cheap for you guys coming from outside where the majority of people who attended. So I hope uh, you found it ac accessible. Uh, we tried our best not to reject talks uh, because we closed the session three months earlier. We l wanted to make it open so that if you submitted a paper a month before, it was before the conference, you could still make it. Because most people don't find out about the conference, they find out later and then they get excited and we don't want to reject uh, papers. We've seen that happen in other conferences. Uh, we do not want to reject registrations. I think we had five people just walk in here yesterday and register. The only thing is you can't use bitcoins or credit card or you have to pay cash. That because we're not set up for anything else. Uh, so some of the challenges was because we were not, since this is netdev 0.1, we didn't know how many people are going to show up. So most of our setup was trying and Steve goes very stressed by this. How do we find a location that will allow us, just like a Lego, we can add another room, right? So it turns out that was a very difficult thing to do. <laughs> so, but, but as we kept going on, we, we came to a realization that, all right, we think we can estimate the number not to, given that we the schedule was posted two weeks before the conference, we probably won't exceed 200 people. So at that point, we made a commitment with the hotel that, all right, we, we, we're going to stick with approximately 200 people capacity. So that was a challenge. It's a lesson that we will do better next time. Um, you have to look very closely at the contracts if you want to run a conference. Believe it or not, we're paying a tip for, for sitting in here, 18%. Um, typically, that's catered for if you buy food and you eat here, then you have to pay the people with the f who are serving you the food but it's now tied into the contract, and we missed it, that <laughs> we're paying a tip for someone who's not serving us food here. Uh, so lesson is, we'll look closer at the contracts the next time. Uh, some challenges, all right, from we want to do this to it's done, took four months. Over the year of end holidays, which is, you know, you got Christmas, New Year, people go on vacation, it's December, everybody's just thinking about vacation, right? Um, probably inviting people in the coldest week of the year may not have been appealing to some people. I think somebody told me, well, it's cold, I need to see the schedule. And the schedule came up two weeks later, and then they, they said, We're we can't come, it's too late now. Um, we don't, we have, we, look, we're techies, we don't have good marketing. Our marketing uh, division was Richard, and he was posting on NetDev. I'm sure we got to you, but we didn't get to the corporate uh, class of people. Uh, we can probably do better. I'm not sure if we're better off by having people who think like us, or we could have diversity around. Uh, so anyway, we're learning. We're going to do probably better marketing. The, I think the ultimate uh, 
lesson is we know how to run an, a conference next time. Everybody here is an amateur, and we learned how to learn one. It would be a lot smoother if you ever decide to come back to our office. Uh, so the question, I the I'd like to sort of engage some questions here. What what do we want? This was a bootstrap, right? We booted up Net NetDev zero one. It's going to continue. Uh, we're going to actually ha the ne next slide. We're going to hand over to uh, to Pablo for the next one. But the question is, what do we want this conference to be? We've tried to set the format. But we'd like to hear if anybody has a comment on what we could do differently. I was wondering if the uh, level of the content was right. Is it too low, too high? I don't know. Is this what people expected? Anybody else to comment? Was the content right? Did people think this was probably too low level, maybe too kernel pr uh, friendly? Not user space friendly, right? How many people thought the content was just right? Wow, okay. Could we have used more user space talks, maybe? Right, things that use the networking subsystem, but they're in user space? Well, I'm sensing like a kernel bias here, okay. Um, <laughs> like, for example, uh, Andre was talking about Bart which is a routing daemon that's in user space. Totally. Right? What I mean is something like that, right? Maybe we could invite some guy doing a, a cool DNS server next time. Still using our system. So Andre has some comments on how the kernel could be improved to help him, right? Would that kind of talk be useful for the next time? Show of hands? OK. Uh, was it too low level? Too high level? Too low level? Okay, I, I think we got some kernel people in here. Man, so. <laughs> <laughs> what could we have done better? We had boffs, working, uh, workshops, and talks. Uh, if you're presenting in a talk, you ha and tutorials, I'm sorry. Could we have done things differently? I think I had some comment from Saul. Where's Saul? Yeah. My, first, I think you did an excellent job to everybody, so congratulations. Um, the only comment that I made was that given all the discussions people are having, kind of standing around, when you talk about computer science, you need a whiteboard, right? In order to get quickly drawn, I would have actually put a few whiteboards around that we could have erased, and I think it would have helped people have side conversations to have something they can draw on and, and stuff. And, you know, you can get fancy ones that do, as you were talking about, that, you know, you can print from, but just the old-fashioned ones that <laughs> you can write out at a race would probably be good for most of us in terms of I expediting conversations, even out in the hall where a lot of gatherings occurred. But I do want to thank you. I think you all did an excellent job. Thank you. Whiteboards? <laughs> okay. So one thing we had initially thought was we'll have interactive remote people connecting. We just didn't want to pay for the extra bandwidth. That would have been like a blue jean session or something, and somebody's going to be participating on a big screen. Would that be something useful, you think? OK, you don't have to show up to auto and cold, uh, probably, for a while. But let's say it is a warm place. <laughs> would, you, would you actually rather do remote or show up? Show up. Yeah, they, they cross pollination. Yeah. So, so I think the idea, I don't know what proper term is, but maybe cross-pollination that happens on the hallways, that's probably just as important as the talks. Or who's gone, wanted to have a little break so he could go out and skate or something. Will that be something useful for the next time? <laughs> Mike? Okay. Just maybe a recommendation. Maybe if the presentation would be published at the end of each day, so maybe I could review the material, maybe talk face-to-face uh, -face with the presentation uh, holder. That's an excellent idea. I think we should probably publish them before the talk. But yeah, yeah. yeah. right, right. So I know I have 
a few in my laptop that people had sent to me directly. Uh, Harut was trying to synchronize, I think, the um, videos and the, and the slides. Do you want to speak to that? Or? Uh, here, you can, you can have mine. I can, I can manage this. this. Yeah, so all the videos that got recorded, especially for the talks, um, I'll be synchronizing the slides with those, assuming I get them from the presenters. So once I get the slides from the presenters, aside from being put in the videos, I guess I can coordinate that, Jamal, with you or whoever's maintaining the website. Myself or Brenda, yeah. Yeah, and we can, we can get PDFs of those published. Of course, um, they may need to be cleaned up, email addresses removed, that sort of thing. Okay. So one thing is very clear. If you wrote a paper, please, please, for heaven's sake, submit it. Okay. Uh, I have a comment. Yeah. Um, yeah. I Hi. found what's really useful in some conferences is the uh, meals or parties or events together. It's kind of another extension of the hallway talk when you're kind of sitting around a, a table together and, and talking in a casual way. And uh, what I found is we tended to click with the people we already knew. And so some of these things where you do everything together rather than splintering off with your comfort crowd um, gets more collaborative conversation with people you don't already know. Okay, thanks. D did you want to say something? To, to that topic, uh, I also want to think about the other end of the spectrum, which is that some of us who have been doing this for six or seven or eight days, some nights want to have a very small controlled group to just have a pleasant meal together and not have this gigantic group of 50, 60 people that we have to contend with uh, every evening. So it has to be balanced if we're going to do something like that, but I do agree that there's, it, there's good value to it. Okay, that's fine. Kathy, I'm going to hold you. We're going to need some more money next time. I was just going to say that <laughs> let's not wait for the video synchronization mm -hmm. to get the slides posted. Okay, the slides will be posted. So uh, we, we, if we can get those as quickly as possible, Yeah, the good. volunteers are going to put some effort into getting them in shape by the next two days, worst case, I think. I, I wonder in terms of the meals, finding a venue that's able to host that many people all in the same place is pretty difficult. And I certainly agree with the value of mixing things up, so I'm not quite sure how you would socially engineer it, but it would be a good way it would be good to find some way of uh, uh, finding a half a dozen venues and uh, getting a random sampling of people to show up at each one. Uh, we could use some kind of other social factors to be able to mix people instead of using the technical uh, um, groupings that already exist. How many people do we get yesterday for the boss? For the, for the skating, there yeah. was 25 people that showed up. Um, I guess most people are scared of the ice, so. That was, I, that was, I know I had, had an excuse. Great time. I had an excuse. We had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> um, that that does its own social yeah. mixing right there. You want to do okay. All right, so I'm just going to hand it over to Dave, and then we will continue with our little handover process. Uh, just like uh, Jamal said, I'd like to thank all the volunteers and the people who organized this. This is, uh, in my opinion, a very successful conference. It brought a lot of people together working on things and uh, helped people at the kernel end of the spectrum understand what people at the, uh, in the other spokes in the wheel want from us and need from us and vice versa. So that was very useful. And in particular, I'd like to thank, thank Jamal to get the ball rolling in the beginning. Uh, it's kind of funny how these NetDev and NetConf conferences happen. And me and Jamal exchange a friendly email about hockey or whatever and be like, yeah, maybe we should do a conference. Yeah, maybe we should. Okay, I'll look into it. I'll get back to you. And next thing you know, here we are. It's almost like magic. But I don't want to take him for granted. He did a lot of hard work to make that actually happen, so I appreciate that. Um, so that's uh, what has happened over the past couple of days, and we need to start looking towards the future, the next, the next conference. And uh, for that purpose, I'd like to hand the mic over to Pablo. Okay, I will stay brief. Basically, um, we, ha we don't have a fixed date uh, yet, but it will be in South Spain, in Seville, and expected more or less end of this year, beginning next year. So main international airports are Madrid and Barcelona, so we wish you to see you there. And um, I I'll try to make sure that wh while organizing the next um, conference, we take care of all the things that you have proposed. So. Um, and we can get that done. So see you see you in, in Seville in South Spain.
Okay, and it's, it's going to be a lot warmer. So now you go from extreme cold to extreme heat, probably. All right, thank you, everybody. Appreciate you coming here.